welcome, welcome to Delivering Team Faith Ministry Sunday morning service. On behalf of Pastor Ryan Kennedy, Reverend Dolores Hart, and Pastor Williams in Jamaica, we welcome you. At this time we will have our opening prayer by Pastor, by Reverend Hart. Blessing in Jesus. tired of us, you do not get weary of us. Oh, glory to God, if we come in the morning, we come at midday, we come at midnight. Oh, glory to God, we give you praise, we give you praise. Oh, God, as we come to you today, Lord. Oh God, we bring up, oh God, all the people, Lord Jesus, in the states that are devastated. Oh God, this morning we bring them up on the wings of prayer. Oh God, we place them in your most capable hands, oh glory to God, hallelujah. We do not know what they are going through, Lord Jesus, but the Holy Spirit knows, glory to God, hallelujah. Jesus, you are touched with the feeling of their infirmities this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, so we just ask you to hand down mercy, Lord God, and grace towards every one of them, every one of the survivors, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you to take the supplies to them in safety, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what happened, Lord, or what does not happen, you are still God. You still sit on the throne. Oh glory to to God, hallelujah. And so we give you thanks. We bring up everyone this morning in condition, circumstances, and situation. Oh God, both physical and virtual space, Lord. And we ask for a touch. Oh Jesus, a touch from your mighty hand, hallelujah. A touch will make the difference, so glory to God, hallelujah. We thank you that you are a prayer answering God, and we thank you that when you speak, your voice makes the difference. Oh God, you speak to the waters and they divide. You speak to the dead and they be resurrected. Oh God, you speak to the storm and the storm calm. You speak to the wind and the waves and they obey you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So we just give you thanks. We just give you thanks. We just give you thanks. Oh, God, we come today to worship you, to magnify you, to lift up your holy name. Oh, glory to God. To honor your King of kings, the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are still the miracle worker, Lord. Still the promise keeper. Still light in the darkness. Still the journey bright. 
right now. Still here below carrier. Yeah. Still the oasis in the yeah. desert. Oh God, still our oh, strong and mighty power. Oh, a solid rock oh, on which we stand. Oh God, we glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. Oh God, we don't have tongue enough to give you thanks. But we come in the humble way we know how. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we thank you for the weapon of praise and prayer. Oh, glory to God that you have equipped us with this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh God, we just magnify your name as we come today. Accept the homage we bring, the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving in the house. Hallelujah! Oh, you command us to enter the gates with thanksgiving. Glory to God! Hallelujah! So we come as you bid us come this day in the name of Jesus. We put the praise team in your hand, Lord. Bless their voices, touch them, Lord. Breathe afresh upon them in the name of Jesus. The one that brings forth your word, Lord God. Pray for a special touch in the name of Jesus. Clarity, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Strength in the name of Jesus. Let the word reach somebody somewhere. Lift somebody out of discouragement. Lift somebody out of strength. Lift somebody out of sickness. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. Bless each and every heart to pray this day, Lord. Oh, Oh God, let us not leave here the same way we came. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But let us lay down at your feet. Oh, glory to God. So we just thank for that blessed touch today, Lord. We invite your Holy Spirit here, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in our midst. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. Oh, Jesus, just greet afresh upon us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Spirit of the living God, we give you thanks. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your manifold blessing. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. Oh, for your compassion towards us. For your loving kindness, Lord. Your happy love. We give you thanks. Glory to God. Oh, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that none is missing from the number. We thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We send the word to Jamaica. Maker to Pastor Williams and the brethren. Raise them, my Lord. Draw them closer. Lift them up. Hallelujah. Encourage them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, strengthen them as they look to you, the art and the finish of their faith. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just give you thanks to the Lord and we just bless and praise your name. We leave the service in your hands, Lord. We rebuke and discharge anything that would come up against worship. Every other spirit is subjected unto the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask these and all other mercies in no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you. Bless your name, Jesus. At this time, we will have our scripture lesson by Deaconess Mackenzie, which will be St. Luke 1, 26 through 28. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The scripture lesson, St. Luke 1, from 26 to 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto, was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, 
to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou as art thou as highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she was saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he said, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of the, his kingdom thou shalt be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, O oh, shall this be, seen I know not a man. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee, Therefore also all that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For thou, for with God nothing shall be impossible. 38 and last. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. This is the end of God, this is the word of the Lord, and we honor the word by saying, Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 At this time, we will start our praise and worship. I would like the praise team to come on down. So we can do this. Let's praise and magnify the Lord to the highest this morning. Amen. What's your name, Jesus? Lord, we we'll give ourselves to you this morning, Lord God, without holding nothing this morning, Lord God. We give ourselves to you this morning, Lord, that you can use with your honor to your glory this morning, Lord. Lord, as we come to worship you in spirit and truth, Lord God, Lord, we put self aside this morning to magnify your name this morning, Lord. Lord, we call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Lord. Lord, we give you sacrifice of praise this morning in to the house Jesus, of the Lord this yes, morning, Lord. Yes, Lord, we Jesus, thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're going to do this Jesus, morning, yes, Lord God. Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for everything this morning, Lord. Lord, we thank you for waking us this morning, Lord God. We thank you that we're in our right mind this morning, Lord. Lord, we give you honor and we give you praise unto your name this morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Lord. We worship you in spirit and in truth this morning. So, Lord, we lift our voice to Glory you this to morning. Your we lift our hearts to you this yes, morning. Yes, and we say thank you, Jesus. Thank we say praise the Lord. We say thank you for life, this morning, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
Awesome in this place. 
in the right tune he's supposed to be in. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus, because I feel good. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes. Good, wonderful God. Amen. So if you wake up this morning and feel like you want to fight, you should be feeling good right now. Amen. Glory to your name. Amen. And if you wake up this morning feeling bad, you should be feeling good right now. Praise the name of Jesus. The songwriter said, I feel good. I feel good. Why? Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. Every time I talk about Jesus, I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, wonderful, good. than anything that you could have or hold. Praise the name of Jesus. This moment is wrapping his loving hands around you. Praise the name of Jesus. Let us get our mind and our thoughts at the place to receive something from the Lord this morning. And the songwriter said, Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve anything? What is it that I have ever done to deserve anything? But then the songwriter said, he look beyond my faults and he saw my need. Simple means that it doesn't matter how wretched you are this morning. It doesn't matter how far down in sin you are this morning. It doesn't matter how many times you have cursed Jesus. This morning the samurai said my hope is built and nothing else but Jesus' blood. 
and his righteousness. Simple mean there is still hope for you. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if you're on the street corner selling drugs this morning. There is still hope for you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. There is still hope for you. Jesus, yes. Hope thou, my soul, in God. Down my soul in God, for I shall yet praise Him. He's a help of my way. Hold down my soul in God. Hold down. Why don't you 
in position to receive put yourself on the place to receive something and the scripture was read this morning from St. Luke chapter 1 reading from verse 26 to verse 38 I will not read it again Praise the name of Jesus. But this morning I want to bring your attention to Mary. Praise the name of Jesus. And I said to put yourself in the position or place yourself in a way where you can receive something from the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. So when you look into your life and you look at the life of Mary, whether she was preparing herself to be the mother of Jesus or not, she was at the place. She was worthy of the call. Praise the name of Jesus. And so it is this morning that I'm telling you to get yourself at the place. Always be ready and prepared. Because you know not the minute, the hour or the second in which the Lord God Almighty will call upon you to do something. So Mary was at the place. And when you are at the place, I guarantee you, you will get a visitation from somebody. She kept herself a virgin.
When everyone was uh, running all over the place, she chose a different path. Because she wants something different. And so it is when you are serving God and when you're seeking for something, when you're looking for something to extend your life or to get better in your life, you position yourself at the place to receive something. You don't know what it is that you will receive, but you make sure that you are at the place. You make sure that you are prepared to receive whatever it is that God has been stored for you. But she was going to bring forth someone, something that this world has never seen before. But John warned last week, there is one that is coming that is greater than I am. We are in the season of giving. Praise the name of Jesus. So you see, Mary gave up Everything that everyone else was running around and looking for, she gave all of that up because she wants something special. She don't know what the something is, was, or is going to be. But all she know is that she wants something special. And so this morning, as children of the Most High God, let us come out of our ways. Let us come out of our used to. Let us come out of our known and get into the unknown so we can receive something from the Almighty God. When you are too comfortable, you know what is coming. But when you are not comfortable, you expect the unexpected. Amen. That means your eyes are always open to receive. And so Mary did that. And she received a visitation from the angel Gabriel. And I believe at the moment she was so frightened, amazed. And as we said today, she was frozen. When the Holy Ghost come upon you and you're at a place where you're not expecting that visitation you froze but it's only for a moment you're going to be frozen praise the name of Jesus and the good word came to Mary That she will be bringing forth a son, a king, a special child. Special child. Knowing us. We would start to ask why, when, how, and all. We would go down through the whole channel. How is that possible? But she stands still and she listened. She humbled herself. 
until the entire message was delivered. Once we hear, bring forth a child, we start to question everything. How is it possible? But you have to be at the place to receive. You have to be at the place to give. Giving does not come from the amount that you have. That is not giving. That is giving what you don't want. But giving comes from the heart. Whether you have it in abundance or you don't, you still are going to give it. That is what giving is. And Mary did not turn down the opportunity give herself up to bring forth this special child at the place are we at the place this morning to receive the message are we at the place this morning for call for duty are we at the place this morning to pick up the button and run? Are we at the place at the proper mark for the end of this morning? But Mary stood there and listen to what the command was. Instruction, word for word. And his name shall be called Jesus. Whatever you do, you don't forget that part. That his name shall be called Jesus. But as excited as Mary was, to receive the call to, to bring forth the Son, the mighty King Jesus, in the back of her mind she was wondering, what is it that I'm going to tell Joseph? Praise the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. <laughs> what is it? How is it that I'm going to break this message to Joseph? But don't worry about that part. God Almighty will take care of that part. And so it is that we miss out on our calling. We miss out on what we are supposed to do for God. We missed out on the sentence that was given. We missed out on the instruction that was given because we are questioning the wrong part. He said that I am your way maker. He is also the light in your darkest hour. So 
when you think of the circumstances that you are faced with as Mary was faced with a circumstance that she has to make a decision at the moment, at the point when it came upon her. She could have refused. But when the Spirit of the Lord God come upon you, it's like a flood. It overtake everything. It intake everything. And it says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. But you must first accept. Are you at the place to receive this morning. Many times we get to the place, but the songwriter said, roll back the curtain. So when you start to stumble, just roll back the curtain. When you fall down and seem as if you cannot get up, roll back the curtain. When it seems as if your feet are stuck in sinking sand, roll back the curtain of memory. Show me, Lord. Show me where I started. Show me where I begin. Show me where I accept. Show me where I realize. Show me when I said yes, Lord. And within this pregnancy, when she was going through her tests and her trials, and when Joseph decided that he wanted to put her aside, she remembered the place. When the angel of the Lord spoke to her. She remembered the place that she made that decision to bring forth the Holy Child. Sometimes we worry about if it looked good or not. Or if it's going to look good or not. Jesus Christ said, come just as you are. But you don't stay as you come. Come on, somebody. Come just as you are. If you don't receive them through the door, how are they going to come in? Come just as you are. And the Holy Ghost will fix you up. Amen. Let Jesus fix it. Yes. For me. Because God Almighty knows just what to do. He knows the exact fixing that you need. He knows all about your trouble. He knows all about your struggle. But when you call upon Jesus, he knows just what to do. He said, whenever you pray, just let the Lord have his way. And he will fix it for you. So when Joseph began with his antics, 
May we pray. Praise the name of Jesus. And God take care of business. Don't worry how he's going to take care of it. Just put yourself in the position for him to take care of it. The time that we spend worrying about how is it that God is going to take care of it. It's the time we need to spend getting ourselves in position to receive it. And so it is that Mary was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. So the process has begun. All she needs to do is take care of herself to bring forth this child. Praise the name of Jesus, somebody. God Almighty has placed a word inside of you. And all he's asking for you to do, take care of yourself. And that you can bring it forth. He's not going to come down here and put a plate and spoon and fork in front of you and tell you to eat. You got to do that. Praise the name of Jesus, somebody. Amen. But the word is hidden in your heart. Get yourself situated and get to the place. And when you get there, stay there that you can receive the set, the Lord God Almighty. It's not who is bringing the word, it's if you are receiving the right word. Come on, somebody. And a child shall lead them. Many a times we reject the Almighty because the word is not coming from who you want to hear it from. Your duty is not for response. Your duty is to deliver. So you deliver. Because the process that the Virgin Mary went through The main course is to deliver. And when you deliver, you don't want to deliver stillbirth. When God gives you a word to deliver, you do not want to deliver a stillbirth. You don't want to bring forth a dead child. But you want to speak life into somebody. You want to speak energy into somebody. Someone is dying right now and they need a word from you to revive them. Speak 
the word, Lord. Your servant is listening. Speak the word, Jesus. Your servant will hear. I need a word from you. Because if I don't hear from you, Lord God Almighty, then what is it that I'm going to do? Some of us are serving God, but we're not hearing from him. We need to check why. And follow the instruction in which the songwriter has given to you to roll back the curtain. Check out yourself. Somewhere along the line, you have missed a step. So this morning, as it was with Mary, let it be with us to receive the word which Christ has in store for us this morning. And Mary, follow the instruction in which the angel gave to her yes. so that she did not bring disgrace to herself. Some of us doesn't follow instruction. And when the wall of Jericho come tumbling down on us, that is when we start to seek out uh, where is it that I went wrong? You hear the first line and you hear the ending but you don't know what the body says. So you take off running then you come to a full stop and miss out all the instruction. It's like a baker. My mom is a fantastic baker. But I don't promise her that I will be baking. And she dare not miss out those key ingredients. Or else. I know one thing that cakes do fall. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so when you miss out on the key ingredients that God is given to you, you will fall. Come on, somebody. And you don't take the whole bottle of everything and pour it in, or it's going to spoil. That is the reason why when we receive instruction from the Holy Ghost, we need to follow in which we are being given so that we can deliver thus said the Lord God Almighty with confidence when a baker is baking they don't hope it's going to turn out right they know it's going to turn out right When you serve in the true and living God, 
Don't hope you're going to make it in. Know that you're going to make it in. When you're hoping, then you ain't doing something right. But Mary know that she was doing everything right. And when she was placed with that special child, she cared up even more. Because she was charged to deliver this child. When you are conceived to bring forth a child, you don't hope the child will come in four months. Right? You're looking for a full term. Not over the term, but a full term. And whenever you hit that term, and the child is not here, you start to worry. But I've learned something by paying attention. That if you're not going to bring a full term, it's better to have that child at seven months instead of eight. But God Almighty this morning is not looking for no stillbirth from his children. Bring forth and deliver. Full term. Deliver the word. Full term. Speak the word exactly how the word is. Don't try to go preach your God word. To please people. Amen. Or to bring people into the ministry. Because eventually they're going to lose their way. Because it was not true. What you told them. Many ministers are prettying up the work to full benches. But the Bible said, Woe unto them that leads my sheep astray. So this morning, as we continue on in the season I've given. That is the peace that I will lay on you this morning. Get yourself in position to receive. Come down, praise team, please. Get yourself in position. We still have a few more weeks to complete this message. Praise the name of Jesus. Last week, it was John the Baptist that was warning that there is one that is coming after me that will be greater. This week, are you in the position? To receive because you must deliver glory to your name Jesus so stay tuned for the rest of this message we're on a journey 
and we must complete. Glory to your name, Jesus. The songwriter said, this world is not my home. And if it is not mine, it's not yours either. So we are all just passing through. Glory to your name, Jesus. So everything that you're holding and think you're going to take it somewhere. And all those of us that are fighting for riches and money and everything. Just write them a check for everything and put it in the coffin. They said, bury me with it. Bury them with it. Write them a check. And see if they can change it. Get yourself at the place that you can receive what God has in store for you. That is all that will count when it is all said and done. But remember this this morning. We must deliver. All to Jesus I surrender. We must deliver. But before we can reach delivery stage, we must be conceived. And in order for that to happen, you must be at the place. this morning make sure that you are at the place God is not a God to be mocked he's not a toy that you take up when Christmas comes around and you play with and when January 1st rolled around, you pack him into a box and you put him down until the following, the end of the year. He is a true and living God. And he said, what I do for one, I can do for all. So there is no need for you to try to kill me for what I have. When you can receive the same thing from the same God that I have received it from. Amen. Amen. But you have to be at the place. Which require work. If you are eating and you're not working, then somebody's supporting you. Whether you are stealing it from somebody or other, somebody is the source. But remember that Jesus Christ is the main source. Amen. Get yourself in the position. Praise team. And Reverend Hart will close out after.
praise team. God bless you this morning. I hope you have received something from this word. And tune in next week for the next portion. We are in the season of giving. And in order for you to give something, your hands must be open. You cannot give with your fists. Your hands need to be open when you're giving. And once they are open, they will receive something. Praise the name of Jesus. God bless you this morning. God bless you. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to you.
cannot be explained the glory to God hallelujah cannot be comprehended hallelujah you love us in spite of and despite of glory to God you love us and you care for us glory to God thank you that you are a good shepherd hallelujah you lead us to the green pastures yes, and beside the still water. Yes, God. Oh, glory Jesus. to God. We give you thanks today. Lord we just glorify Jesus. and magnify your name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you. And we face another week, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We ask that you be with us, Lord. Yes, that you, yes. Jesus, and direct us. Yes, God. We do not know what this week holds. Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. But one thing we know for sure that you hold this week. Yes, and you hold yes, our hands. Yes, 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 so we yes. just thank you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you Jesus. Oh God, as we go to our several places of abode, God, go with us. We are leaving here, but not from your presence. Hallelujah. Oh, we just thank you for your protection. Lord, hallelujah. Thank you that you sit high and you look low. Thank you, Lord, to God. Thank you that you never change our the same oh, God. Jesus. Yes. 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 Oh, God, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey, yes. we just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for your Hallelujah. Thank you for your anniversary. Somebody say, when I think of the goodness, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hey! Jesus. My soul has no other choice but to cry out. Hallelujah. 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 God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we soar on the wings of hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus. 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 Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you for strength. Thank you, Jesus. Shut down every wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for the connection. Thank you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. We are connected to the highest power. Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Thank you for your anointing. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. That breaks and destroys every yoke. Yes. 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 Candle of our faces. Oh, we just give you thanks, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank you. Thank you. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a blessed week, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for a prosperous week. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we give you thanks. Again and again. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The angels above every other Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God.
Facebook Live. We love you, God bless you, and have a blessed week.